Mom. I know you watching over me. I know you proud. In your name we pray. Amen. Showtime. He's little. He's funny. He has the world wrapped around his finger. Kevin Hart and his 10 rules of greatness. I think with any with any level of success, you're gonna you're gonna get negativity. Uh, the thing is, is how do you handle it? You can feed negativity with negative responses, or you can feed negativity with success. At the end of the day, if you continue to do what you do to the best of your ability, the people that are being negative have to evaluate themselves and go, yo, instead of taking the time to be angry, maybe I just need to go and do what I'm supposed to do on my side. I got out of Philadelphia because I was seeing the same people. Your reach wasn't a big reach. I was like, well, it's not that. I was seeing the same people, the same comedians, the same audience people every week. Wouldn't you see the same if you went somewhere else though? But that's the thing, I didn't know. Got it. I, I wasn't content with not knowing. I was like, it, it has to be more. What, what, what's the next? Kevin, is this late 90s? This is late 90s. So you're 21, 20, yeah. 21, 22 this years old. This is late 90s. This is. This is 98, 99, yeah. and I met a guy named Keith Robinson who's an unbelievable mentor to me. And this is the guy who was telling me just like, man, you gotta start talking about more. You gotta start talking about yourself. He said, I want you to come with me to New York. I didn't know the guy from, from, from this piece of paper on the table, but when he said, you gotta come with me to New York, I jumped at it because I was like, is more comedy in New York? I'm going, I wanna see it. I, I was so eager to see what else was out there. And got when it. I saw that, when he when he opened up that door and yeah. I got to look behind it and I saw what was there, 12, 13 comedy clubs in New York, I got to see comedians on stage, all races. Well, New York is New York. Oh my God, all races, shapes, sizes. I was, I got bit, I got bit. Was that it? I, that, was when, that was when it was over. That was my, that was the addiction at the highest level. A lot of comedians go out on stage and they're hiding who they are. Because mm -hmm. we know there's a lot of comedians come from a dark place. They do. Mm -hmm. You let it all out. There. I come from a happy place. Even yeah. though my place was dark, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy simply because I, I, I have no reason to be angry. Uh, life is too short to be angry. So the things that I do feel a certain type of way about it that I may get upset about, I let it out. I get it out on stage and I allow other people to judge it and laugh at it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you're laughing is because I'm being honest. And I think when people can relate to that honesty. The truth is always the funniest. It is the funniest. I don't care what happens to you. There is a positive and a negative in anything that happens to you. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it after you're done being negative, I guarantee you'll laugh. I'm beyond confident. I'm not cocky, I'm so confident. I'm confident in who I am. I'm yeah. confident in the person that I am. I think I'm sexy. I tell my lady all the time, babe, I'm sexy. <laughs> I, just got, I just got two ugly toes, that's it. That's, that's the only thing. I just, I love me. And, and you're I sexy think, with your socks off. Yeah, yeah, I don't take my socks off. <laughs> I don't take them off, but I wear good socks. That's, that's the plus. I just don't believe, I don't believe in change. I don't believe in, in doing things to, to uh, manufacture my body to appeal to what I think people might like. This is, this is it. This is, this is what I was given. This is my playing cards. If we was playing poker, I got to make this hand work. Yeah. This is it for me. And this is what I'm going to ride out. So how do you not embrace it? You get one life. Yeah. One. You get one life. I'm going to embrace my... Discovery makes me happy. Like when you find different things to be excited about, it makes me happy. And it's weird when it clicks. In school, they used to tell you all the time, information is key. Read these books, there's so much knowledge. You're like, man, fuck that book. Got time to read that book, I wanna go home. Goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog, I, I wanna play. I'm at level three, I ain't got time to read this book. The information, the stuff that was forced down your throat, at a certain age, you just, you just, may not be receiving it correctly, but then it clicks. And you may gain information differently and what you do with that information is up to you, but people, people have different roads they can go down. The education wasn't my pick of choice. It, it didn't do it for me, but the knowledge and the common sense 
that I have naturally allowed me to gain information, apply it differently. It allowed me to grow smart in so many different avenues to where I said, oh my God, I found my niche, I found my talent. And now there's other things that my talent can take me to. I don't have the, all the knowledge and awareness, but I can allow myself with people to do that, can teach me. Because now guess what? Learning is cool. Are you surprised by your success at all? I don't want to say I am because then I think that that means you're doing something for, for a, a lesser benefit. You know, I think you do anything to, to maximize your potential in whatever mm -hmm. realm you put yourself in. Uh, within entertainment, there's so many doors that you can go through. I mean, you're literally looking at 15 to 20 doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I going open back in your yeah. life, would you ever see yourself in this position, position I, now? I saw myself, honestly, as a model when I first started. A model? Started. Yeah. So a really runway? Be runway honest. model? Uh, no, it was, it was weird. Kids clothes, I was in the business. <laughs> <laughs> the, point, the point that I'm making is I saw myself going in a direction where I would be able to make people smile. Mm -hmm. uh, and stand-up comedy is one thing that I knew that would be able to put me in that position. And stand-up comedy has taken me in a, in, into a place that, you know, is, is amazing. I love that. I'm a very positive guy, people. I don't wish ill will on anybody. And, you know, Cat, regardless of what he's going through now, at one point in time was a friend. I'm still going to consider him a friend. I hope that whatever he's going through, that, you know, it, it, it works out and that, you know, he gets back to doing what he does best. He's an amazing comedian when, when at his prime, and I would love to see him get back to his prime. So I'm, I'm hoping that the negative things that are around him eventually go away. As you see, I didn't, I didn't pay that any attention when it was, when it was put out there. I'm, I, I, my, my, my mind is in another place and my, my goals are set to reach much higher levels than, than to debate, especially with somebody that's in the same craft. I feel like we're supposed to pull each other up and, and big each other up. It shouldn't be crabs in a barrel. You know, we shouldn't want to pull each other down. That's my take on it. So very well, positive, guys. The whole thing with getting a college agent as a comedian, this is how you're going to survive. Colleges pay you... A thousand, five hundred, seven hundred, but they can block book you. You can do seven colleges in a week. You can do two in one day, another in the next city. They'll put you in like a run where you go from city to city to city. You'll come out with five, six thousand dollars. That's in a week. Oh my God, you get two good weeks. This is great money. You talking yep. 12, 13 grand, a 22 year old comedian. This is, I'm rich. If I can book one of these, you gotta get an agent. You gotta get in the NACA. How do you get in the NACA? Well, you gotta make a tape. Tape's gotta be seven minutes, gotta be clean. No cursing. How to make a tape? Gotta figure it out. Had to go to a comedy club, had to get a comedy club to let me do a tape at the comedy club. Had to get tape edited. Where well, it has to editing? be a live tape? Like a live performance? be a live performance. Got it. You gotta get edited. Who gonna edit it? I don't know, gotta figure it out. From who, who, where, what? Huh? Go figure it out, stupid, you're grown. Ask questions, that's what Keith would tell me. Maybe do it all on my own. Get it edited, okay. Now that you gotta edit it, you gotta get headshots. Now that I got headshots, now you gotta package it up. You gotta go send it out. Each package that you send out, you gotta send it to all of the different conferences. I think it was like 55 or $70 per conference that you have to send your thing in with. So you gotta have a check with all of them. So to send out your headshots, your tape, everything, it would cost you like $350. I don't have that type of money to go It's a lot of money at that time. Figure it out, stupid, get it. And people take this for granted, and I don't care, like, whoever's listening, social media is powerful, man. Like, you literally have an outlet that's free for you to do whatever it is that you want. I've built, up to, to I built up to 40 million people through social media, through Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram, Vine. I have a direct outlet. So when I say something, I get an immediate response. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna be promoted internationally. Studios can't reach their demographic the way I can. So when I do it and I pull it up and then I show a studio, look, this is what my fans are saying. I'm in Germany. Oh, can we wait in here for Australia? And I do this. A studio has to go, all right, look, 
or you or you you risk the business of losing a Kevin Hart that can potentially bring you X, Y, and Z, and then another studio saying, "All right, we want to work, we want to invest." So I don't think they're going to take that risk because they see that I'm passionate right now. I'm not I'm not the guy that's just selling wolf tickets. I'm the guy that's actually putting the work in the streets. Everybody that's successful lays a blueprint out. You laid the blueprint out. Uh, you know, I can go down a list from comedians to actors to entrepreneurs to mm -hmm. self-made moguls. You look at Russell Simmons, you look at Jay-Z, you yeah. look at Tyler Perry, you look at Puff. Uh, I mean, you're looking at people that start off with a small vision and that vision manifested into something beyond expectation. So what I did was, from the people around me, my mentors, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Pryor, yeah. Um, Who are all on the walls. All on the walls. Yeah. All on the walls. So you surround um, yourself with I that. Surra I surround myself with a constant reminder of who's great. Constantly. I come down these steps every day. I look at Richard. Oh, he's great. I see Eddie. He was great. I see Chris Rock. He was great. I, it's a constant reminder. What am I trying to achieve? I want to be great. So yeah. that motivates me. So the thing that separates me is my drive. My drive is other people's success. I am now one of few to perform as a stand-up comedian in Madison Square Garden. This is a dream come true, man. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for growing with me. Thank you for enjoying me. My name is Kev Hart. I love y'all. When we can learn from people who have achieved great level of success, and the phrase stand on shoulders giant. So for example, you've just watched a series of what make this person great. Now, if you adopt these same behaviors, some may work for you, some may not. But the series and other videos that we share will hopefully help you achieve levels of greatness in your life. Adopting behaviors that successful people do will only help you out achieve more. You can take some and you can drop some. You don't have to do them all. Some may work for you, some may not. So, uh, hopefully, you learn from these behaviors, you start adapting some to your life. I get to create a video about what makes you great in the future. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I appreciate you watching these videos. Thank you.